Another downtown development could soon be taking a big step forward. Later this week, the Downtown Investment Authority will review the latest proposal to develop the site of the old River City Brewery on the South Bank. That's where we find our Andrew Badillo joining us live tonight with what this proposal includes. Yeah, Anthony, Heather, it includes a 25 story tower, 390 luxury apartments, as well as restaurant space. Now for the developer, the related group, the $202 million project is much bolder than previous versions of its proposals the and the latest one to be reviewed by the Downtown Investment Authority. It's been nearly two years since River City Brewing was torn down and it could soon be making way for a 25 story apartment community located next to the newly renovated Friendship Fountain where we found Sabrina Brown. It's very nice, it's large, it's bigger than what it was before. Brown does not feel the same way about what may be coming next door. Activities that cause movement instead of eating. We spoke with others around the fountain. Some share Brown's opinion. Others love the proposal. The project will be great for Jacksonville. I'm just sorry that it's taken so long. City Council member Rory Diamond is a fan. With a company like Related, we should have rolled out the red carpet and just asked them, how do we do this? That makes sense for you. In January 2023, the DIA canceled its initial deal with the developer, citing rising construction costs. Friday, the Downtown Investment Authority will look at the latest proposal, which includes 17 more stories and 60 more apartment units. It's asking the city for nearly $60 million in incentives. The DIA review comes as a special committee gets set to review the effectiveness of the DIA in furthering the growth of downtown. We by and large know what's working, what's not working. I think we just need to get busy fixing the problems and getting downtown going. Diamond is vice chair of the committee and has been critical about the DIA. According to a report from 2022 to 2023, $723 million in projects were completed. But other big projects like the Laura Street Trio have stalled. In a statement last week, the DIA said it looks forward to offering input to the committee. Brown is also offering her thoughts. It's giving us more entertainment and give us entertainment that cause movement besides sitting down or eating. Now, Councilman Diamond did say that that special committee does not stop the DIA from doing its job in reviewing proposals in downtown Jacksonville. Uh, if the DIA does improve the River City Brewing proposal, it will still have to go to City Council for final approval. On the South Bank, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side.